Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Cask and Q or Whiskey and Barbecue Meat. I'm your host, Justin Lloyd, and today I have with me a very special guest, Quentin May. We are going to review for you a smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. So uh, we're going to get into this thing and we'll be right back. <music> One of my favorite offerings from uh, Smoke Wagon is this particular bottle. I've had the three main staples, which are the uncut and unfiltered, the small batch, and the single barrel. So this is my favorite one out of the three that we have in this state that's readily available. Um, I was lucky enough to go to a dinner with Aaron Chepanick. He came uh, through town recently and did it. I was unable to attend, but Justin was. Yep. So uh, it was a, a, an awesome dinner where Aaron walked us through uh, three or four of their offerings. Well, so the... Uh, or four now. So I what I understand is that th these are only available in certain states. Arkansas is fortunate enough to be one of them. There's a small batch, which is basically their, their, their basic bourbon and a single barrel, the uncut unfiltered. And the one that I've not had that they just released that I think you got a taste of the dinner was one that's called Uncut the Younger. So right. maybe tell us about that one. So my initial thoughts on, on that particular bottle were that it's okay. For the $40 range, it's, it's really good. But today we're here to talk about the, uh, the uncut, unfiltered bottle. So at least in our state, in Arkansas, this is a bottle that's pretty readily available. Most times you can find it, it's in the $70 range mm -hmm. usually. Um, it comes out at, uh, I guess about 114 proof. Let's see, what does it say it is? It's 57.03 is yeah. this particular, so about 114 proof. Um, and this is a distillery, well, it's, the, it's a, the company is out of Las Vegas, Smoke Wagon is, they source their juice from MGP, which is in Indiana, uh, but to do all the barreling, aging, and bottling in Las Vegas, and they're relatively young company but they've really hit the scene big oh, in the big last time. five six years and they produce some outstanding whiskeys yeah i have some friends that are out of state that follow this channel and um i've sent a, a few samples out of state <laughs> uh anyway um this was this one's a, a really good one uh, we want to get into it and uh we're gonna pour it and give it a review and if you have any um if you have any input, then be sure and comment below and let us know what you think about this one. And like and hit the bell. That's right. Do that. All right, Q, thanks for pouring that for us. Um, I think we've said all that we need to say about the uh, the whiskey itself as far as, oh, color. I mean, look at the viscosity on this. Mm -hmm. Like, it pretty much holds right up the top. It's not as deep an auburn as we've seen on some, mm -hmm. but it's a nice medium amber. It is. A good color for a, for a full body whiskey. Yep, totally agree. Let's go to the nose on this one and see what we got. For me, leather pops out right, right at the forefront. It, it does, and it's mild. I mean, I've, I've had, we, well, he and I have done some of these reviews for whiskeys that are way less proof than this, mm -hmm. that burn a lot more. This is a really mild nose. Yeah, it's totally. kind of, it's almost like, uh, like driftwood and leather on it. Mm -hmm. It's very mild. Like the older leather, basically. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got an old, and for those of you that are wine drinkers too, this has got an old world smell. Earthy you know earthy leathery wood yeah the wood comes out and there's sure. it's, it doesn't burn it doesn't burn the nostrils at all that's a that's that's good nose i like yep. that i agree let's go to the palate and see what we got man you definitely get a little more heat you do on the palate than you do the nose but it's and I don't know if it's pepper or if it's the alcohol burn. Um, it's there, but it, I think it helps the finish. What's funny is it's not a black, it's more of a red pepper. It's like a, 
Mm -hmm. Almost a herbal pepper. Yep, I agree. Wow, that's an interesting. Mm -hmm. I think there's some vanilla in there too and some oak, oak and allspice. There's no doubt this has all the characteristics of your bigger, uh, more full-bodied whiskeys. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's interesting. It's it's good. I mean, it's crazy. And, and now it's funny. We he and I both drank this before. It's one of our favorites. Yeah. But it's a little different experience when you're sitting here trying to pick out the uh, you know, the characteristics. Really what? It. Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. What is it? What? Why do you like it? What is it that you like about oh, it? Oh, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's good. No, it really does. It's it's not now. If you're looking for something that's um, real uh, light and citrus forward, this is not your whiskey. No. This is a this is a little bit bigger whiskey. It's a little bit more of the, like I said, I, I, and I don't know, I'm even going go mesquite. It's got that little bit of peppery wood to it. It does. Um, but it's, it's, it's hard to place for me a little bit. But it's smooth, it's well balanced. It's very well balanced. I mean, especially for, what, what did we say, 58? Uh, 50. It's, it's 114 proof, 114. and it, it drinks at about 100, maybe 95 proof. Mm -hmm. It drinks really smooth. It, very smooth. Good whiskey, I like it. Yep, for sure. Um, so we like to give uh, our whiskeys a rating between one and five, one being the worst and five being badass. Um, well, one thing I'll say before we get into that is the, the linger on this is a little bit, the finish is a little longer. For sure. Than some that we've done mm -hmm. recently. I think that pepper note helps it. it I mean, I don't know if that's what it this is. One, the, the finish does linger a little longer on this one, which is not a bad thing at all. Mm -mm. Uh, don't don't get me wrong. Um, and it's it's smooth, and it's it's got a little bit. Of, you, but that 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 kind of leather and and you know hardwood does kind of stick in there through the finish. It does. It's good. Now you're talking about your uh, you were talking about your rating. Yeah. So I mean, I would say. If, if I were to give this a rating, one being the worst, five being the best. Well, what how what are our criteria? Oh, of course. <laughs> I seem to forget that a lot. Uh, so we go by taste, uh, value, and availability. Well, so honestly, this is one of those that kind of checks all the boxes for me, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. If we started availability, there's a, at least for some of you in, <laughs> in states that aren't right. one of the five lucky ones, but if you're a watcher in Arkansas, you can pretty much find this at most of your liquor stores. Yep. Um, price is about seventy bucks. Mm -hmm. um, you know, maybe maybe eighty if it's a little bit smaller market. But um, taste to me now, I, I like it. It's very good. The nose is mellow but full. Uh, the palate, even at one hundred fourteen proof, is not hot. It's got a lot of good, uh, you know, wood notes and leather notes. It's it's well balanced. It's complex whiskey, but well balanced. I mean, I I probably for availability give it a five. For taste, I've got to give it probably about a three point seven, three point eight. It's right up there with one, some of the better ones. Mm -hmm. um, value taste of to that, I'm probably at a four. So I, probably I would put this whiskey total all aggregate score about a four, maybe a four point one. I feel the same way. Somewhere out there. Um, I mean, for 70 bucks, I've certainly had way worse whiskeys for 70 bucks. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I've also had some that are just as good overall sure. as this for cheaper. Yep. But all in all, this to me, this is my favorite offering by Smoke Wagon. I think it's a wonderful whiskey. And if you have not had it, I would suggest it any day of the week. Absolutely. I feel the same way. Uh, I come out about the same. Um, the aggregate score with, you know, all those three categories being considered I'm I'm four you know four and a quarter somewhere in there I just think the taste is phenomenal I I, I feel like it's complex um, palette um, I think you get some leather notes you get some uh, some citrus in there you get some pepper uh, there's just a lot going on in this particular whiskey for, see, this for 70 is, bucks and this is one I don't get any citrus at all honestly that's, really? and I that's do. just different between and you and I've had differences before oh yeah sure I don't get any any citrus at all I get I, I even get, I get it on the nose I get like mesquite like hardwood smoke um, leather mm -hmm. maybe just a little bit of uh, you know ryegrass but I don't get anything citrusy the ryegrass yeah I mean but it's it's one of those that, uh, you know, and what I think that's one of the things that's most impressive, and I've mentioned this before, is on the finish, those flavors 
kind of hold strong through the through the finish, and that's that's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. A lot of a lot of whiskeys, even some of the great whiskeys, don't have a long finish, but this one really does. This one, the finish on this one is longer than I'm used to. One of the things I just when I just drank that last that last sip is uh, like melted butter. Mm. I mean, I get like a melted butter thing going on. So I can kind of see that some yeah. salted butter, a little bit in there. Yeah, yeah. salted butter. Yeah, that's that, it. that'd be. A, I, I could probably see that. Yeah. So uh, I think that does it for this particular review. Um, it's an awesome buy. You have any parting thoughts? Buy a smoke wagon. Drink more whiskey. Drink more whiskey. There you have it. So uh, if you don't mind, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It lets you know when we upload a new video. Uh, comment too. Uh, we want to hear your thoughts on this whiskey. Uh, he and I differ a lot of times on, on, on bourbon, scotches, whatever. Um, would love to know what you are thinking. So um, I'm Justin with Cask and Q. Quentin May. And we will see you next time.